Hey, how is it going guys? So oh, finally we got some more news regarding AMD's upcoming CPU and GPU lineup coming later this year. And just to clarify things a bit here, the CPU is also known as Ryzen 3000, Zen 2, Ryzen 3rd Gen or Matisse, and the next generation Radeon graphics cards are also referred to as Navi. Now we are getting closer and closer to a final release, and as with any other bigger tech launch, there will always be tons of speculations and rumors. I've tried my best here to stay away from such things and only focus on credible sources from websites such as Tech Power Up and WCCTF Tech. But as always, when it comes to information about something that isn't really official information, always take a bit of that with a small scoop of salt. But with all that being said, if AMD's next generation Ryzen processors are all new information to you, I highly recommend checking out the AMD Matisse video I made a while ago, where I simply cover everything that we knew back then about AMD's upcoming Ryzen CPU lineup. It's an interesting video as we looked into a lot of interesting stuff and we looked into the part where the Ryzen CPU scored higher than the Intel Core i9 9900K in Cinebench. Now don't forget here that this CPU that were tested back then were only using one chiplet and on top of that it was an early engineering sample and so things are looking very promising here. But to try and wrap this up let's look at what we know so far and then yeah we're gonna be looking into the latest news of after that so here's just a quick recap guys the upcoming third gen ryzen is going to be using 7 nanometer production process at tsmc now 7 nanometer brings two times the density and half the power at the same performance or 1.25 times the performance at the same power it claims to offer better performance per watt than intel's 10 nanometer the upcoming ryzen 5 3600x plus the ryzen 7 3700x has already been confirmed by AMD South Korea. AMD has also told us that the upcoming flagship CPU among servers, also known as Epic, will have up to 64 cores and so we should see Threadripper with up to 64 cores as well most likely at least. Now while the CPU will be made up of an IO die made in 14 nanometer, the CPU chiplets will be made in 7 nanometer and the chiplets will then communicate with the IO die through what it's called the infinity fabric. Now why are they going with this design you may ask? Well the reason for this spells money and time. By going with 7 nanometer chiplets, AMD Sun 2 introduces an ad support for PCIe Express 4.0 well with up to 128 lanes in total. Now in terms of performance and metric numbers we're looking at about 13% IPC gain over Sam Plus and 16% IPC improvement over the first generation AMD Ryzen processors. So guys this will definitely help gaming benchmark metrics for sure. Lastly every processor will be supporting the existing AM4 socket and so if you like me are sitting on a motherboard perhaps a X370 board or a B350. These new CPUs guys will fit your existing motherboard and will be compatible but you're gonna have to do a BIOS update for them to work first. Now with this all being said there hasn't been a whole lot of information lately until recently which I'm very excited to finally talk to you guys about today. So reports are coming in from Tech Power Up, the upcoming Ryzen Matisse, AMD will be introducing a new version of the Infinity Fabric that offers twice the bandwidth compared to the first generation or up to 100 gigabytes per second and AMD needs this because of the single IO controller die must now interface with up to two 8 core CPU dies and up to 64 cores in their Epic server line SKU also known as Codename Rome. A lot of information here but what's interesting here is that they are updating the Infinity Fabric to speed the communication up even more. Finally it has been confirmed that AMD's CEO Lisa Su will be the first speaker at Computex 2019 in Taipei. If we take a look at the announcement, we get an idea of what she's gonna talk about. So the upcoming products include 7 nanometer AMD EPIC data center processors, 3rd gen AMD Ryzen desktop processors and graphics cards based on the next generation Navi architecture, all of which are designed to create exceptional experiences for gamers and creators as well as help solve many of the toughest challenges in our life. During during the CEO keynote, Dr. Lisa Su and other high profile guests will highlight new details of upcoming products and showcase how the industry is building a new high performance computing ecosystem that will push technology
technology to the next level so very interesting stuff she is gonna talk about navi probably gonna do a unveil and she's gonna talk more about uh, the third generation ryzen desktop we are most likely gonna see a full release right around this keynote that's what rumors are pointing towards now going back to navi i made a whole video covering playstation 5 and what we can expect from these graphics cards and again rumors are pointing towards an unveil at computex and a release date later this year perhaps in october 2019 these radeon graphics cards are gonna be the successor to the current polaris you know the rx 500 series and it's all gonna be based on the 7 nanometer from tsmc now the navi architecture is rumored to be the final architecture for graphics core next but it's going to carry the biggest updates yet which includes support for dxr and ray tracing so very interesting the amd is jumping on the ray tracing bandwagon as well and apart from using navi as radeon graphics cards in pcs navi will also be used in the next generation consoles from both sony and microsoft as well so both playstation 5 and xbox 2 will be using navi and this is part of the reason why navi actually exists as it was built for consoles first in mind but again i highly recommend having a look at the playstation 5 video it explains many things you probably didn't know about it's been a lot of leaks that the top performing navi card would get around rtx 2060 performance at a retail price of 250 us dollars but we should all take this with a big grain of salt and truthfully i am more skeptical of navi than i am for the ryzen to be honest and when it comes to radeon amd hasn't really blown us away with radeon for many years but i would love to hear your thoughts here as well guys maybe they will deliver maybe they don't we have to wait and see anyway i would love to hear your thoughts here i'm going to cover the release on this channel of course i am going to do comparisons and all that good stuff i got you covered guys now i'm gonna be back with a brand new video in just a day or two until then have an awesome day okay